Fine long spinning around. Left it a little bit short. And more time. Darian Reed around the screen from Mamori to the rim for Alabama's first two. Good. Preseason player of the year in the Sun Belt. Over a thousand points for him at Louisiana. Here's Darian Ford leaving that just short. Darian Ford Jr. running this offense for the Red Wolves. He'll play the same way, but with the athletes that Alabama has, Arkansas State's going to have to make sure they try. Shooter in the outside from three, one for six in the first performance. If he can get it knocking from the outside, he's a tough matchup. So on his uniform being cleaned off. Mark Sears going to the rim, draws the foul. It's going to see Grant Nelson as well on the floor for the first. Depth. And Arkansas State is short-handed tonight. With that, that's fouls are definitely going to be something that is going to be impactful. Joseph Pinion just came in for Todd. Extra pass to Julian from the corner. He buries the three. That's beautiful. Has a lot of confidence in what they're doing and thinks that the sky's the limit. Darian Reed fighting his way in, but an offensive foul. Ford from the top of the key. Off the back iron. Clifford to Mo Sears feeding Thylon. Draws the foul. That's beautiful action for Alabama coming down in transition. This impressive thing is that he's a two-way player. He can play on both ends of the court. He can run the show from the point guard position, and he can play off the ball. Go, another rebound by Amore. Alabama looking to run. Sears, Amore drawing. He's a tri prolific shot blocker. I, I think the thing will be is a matter of what are the teams in the SEC going to do when they're playing against them. You Saving in play. Here's Johnson in the long heave, and that'll be short. Shot clock violation forced by Alabama's defense. Gives them the versatility and the depth that they need to be a really good defensive team. Sears, Thylon is foul. Or at least changed. Not even four minutes into the game, Alabama already in the bonus with 17 fouls on Arkansas. Thylon, second one won't go. Pinion the rebound for Arkansas State. That time by Arkansas State, get him back, stopping the trip, fast break opportunity. Mark Sears to the rim. Good shit, so we'll back it up. Here's Ford. To the rim, zips it out to Julian. Three won't go. That's a shot you one season in Jonesboro. I looked at him and continue to do even more. Only delayed by about an hour in Holly Spring. Crimson Tide in the midst of a 6 0 run after that free throw, no good by Grant Nelson. A lot of fouls so far. Eight on him. Takes it back out. Amadia Bate, that won't go. Dominguez the rebound of the game not being in your favor they can continue to hold on they find themselves in a good situation as they get players returning to the action if you're arkansas state mark sears knocking down the front end of the one and one had 20 points to lead the crimson tide in scoring on him Yavate keeps this alive aiden holloway yes <laughs> Red Wolves, one of their last seven from the floor. Ford attacking in. Phone drive in to get a little bit of contact going to the free throw line. Arkansas State's going to have. Mark Sears. Perfect. They come off that screen roll. They switch. Darren Todd against Jarrell. Back to Johnson. Foul. Stopper. When he gets continues to get more experience, he'll be a dynamic player for this team. Johnson goes two for three. Braves about his shooting ability. Hasn't been having an opportunity to play as much due to some nagging injuries, but at the same time has the ability. Terrence Ford attacking the paint. Trying to hit it on to Marshall, but right there, the Crimson Tide. Kicking it out. The transition, and that's how Alabama is able to get on this run in the last two minutes and 59 seconds. The iron. Crimson Tide keep it alive. Three pointer, nothing but that by. Let's go on. Twelve rights of junior for the Crimson Tide. Sending Darian Ford to the free. Mark Sears, Reed going for the dunk, could not collect him. He had a lot of contact falling. Mark Sears. Working it around to Reed. His three in and out. That's a swing with the rebound. Reed has to swing that. Yeah. Reed to Clifford. Beautiful design play. 
It's one of its last nine from the floor. Long range for Ford. That won't go. Ford. But Nelson's hand in his face. Couldn't connect on the three-pointer. In the last nearly six minutes for Arkansas State. Todd trying to go to Hill, but... Ford attacking the paint, swims it up, and in. Todd attacking from the left side, and one. And themselves in the bonus as well. That third foul on Darian Ford. With his versatility, when he's able to be at his best, he's playing his natural position at the four and even at the well. It's a shocker to see the struggle from both sides. After lane violation, Nelson knocking that one in the yard. Kobe Julian misfires there. Now into the basket. Reitzel puts it up. Good. Julian from three. And he buries the three-pointer just this. Oh, Diabate showing the improved shooting touch that he had from last season. Not known for his outside shot, but being able to that time. Mark Sears weaving through traffic before he collides with four. to play at the, space, the pace they want. This is a tough foul here. It's incredible, really. Just when we thought we... Sherell nearly had the rebound. Now four with a three-pointer. That's how the ball bounces. You can't get the free throw. This connection with the Crimson Tide. Johnson with this. Transition to a lot of things with this physical move. Holloway misfires on the three, and the valid transition on Aiden Holloway. You have two teams that can play up tempo, they can get it going, and they can do it in a hurry. Mark Sears can't connect on. Still 4.46 left to go before halftime. 8 0 run for the Red Wolves. Crimson Tide trying to find some offense. Mark Sears will do just that. 14 of the 31 points for the Red Wolves at the free throw line. That one will go for Marshall, and there's a field. Last year, of course, one of the most efficient players in college basketball. Fourth most efficient player in the country. That was after he goes. To the rim, Taryn Todd gets it tough, too. Really good. Executing, come out of that break. Pylon finding Sears. Shot clock winding down. Crimson Tide will not get a shot off. Grant Nelson. In and out on his three. Actually making it Sun Belt Championship game on 12 of their final 16 games of the year once they finally got healthy. Amori mentioned the game was in the balance, has hung right in there. It was a situation where Alabama could have pushed this lead. Seven point Alabama lead. Darren Todd. Lost control of the basketball. Back outside, Reitzel. Leaves the three-pointer short. Julian grabbing it back despite contact and up. Sears works his way in, blocked by Hill. Fight for the basketball. Darren Todd gets moving. To the rim. Give it to him. He can draw something up to be able to see if he can line his players up to get on long range. Just short, and that'll close out. And Amore, there's a lot of versatile things you can do with this group. Nelson beating Amore. That's a great start to the second half for the top. Dropping off to another big like Amore for a jam. First offensive set for the Red Wolves, and that's an easy dunk by Rashad Marshall. Thylon with the fake. To Amore, and Clifford with the first four for Alabama. Green's flared up play players and being able to finish. Tapped in by Marshall. He's red hot just. Julian. Off the back iron with the three. Amori with the rebound. Julian. Off the back iron with the. Mark Sears to Nelson. 
Grant Nelson with a soft touch. With this group out, you have shooters all around him, and when he can do that, he can get in and penetrate for himself and for others. Ford and Amori. Todd goes two for two to make it a three-point game. Nelson swings into Sears. Off the iron with the three. Darian Ford being aggressive. Lost control of the basketball. Turnover. Exactly what you do not want to do against Alabama. Ford tried for the answer. Sherell with the rebound and a foul. Throws the defender for a split second. One more bounce turned on the Jets all the way to the cup. She went undefeated at home. Tough place for teams to come in and play. Nowhere to go. Phelps to Johnson with a tough two. Reitzel. Off from three. Rebound line. Wide open, Grant Nelson. His three. Hill. Off from three. Reitzel the board. The board. Reitzel, the extra step, and the three! Ford into the paint, denied Jarrell! Looks it back to Ford, 10 on the shot clock. Todd, the floater. Julian with lane to the basket. Time left, but at the same time, as you mentioned, gonna have to play smart if they are on the court. It's last seven from the floor. Reitzel, and another three, but getting in it half the weather. Todd, step back long. Sherell, off from three. Keeps the possession alive. Terrence Ford's time the lane was open. I would like to see the drive get a little bit higher percentage shot, knowing you're not making it. Julian draws the foul. Important that they can keep this within striking distance. The pace is beneficial. You crowded up. Come away with the steal. Jaron Stevenson on the floor with four fouls. Five on five. And he'll have a playmaker to make that decision to drop it off to a more. The ball around. Alabama's looking for the steal to try to get off in this transition. Ford against Stevenson. Had to Dominguez, short on the three. Mark Sears to the free throw line. We've seen this many missed free throws from so many really good shooters in a while. Darren Todd, blocked by Clifford Amore. Ford fighting his way inside, and a foul against Alabama. Angling. Trajectory towards the offensive player. Darian Ford working in and it doesn't want to pick up a cheap foul. Mark Sears fighting through contact. Ruby Julian back on the floor, leading scorer against Nelson. Leaves it. Darian Reed. Hello! Excellent decision. That was excellent high IQ pass. Ford trying to answer with a three, cannot. Friends in time with enough. Holloway traveled with the basketball. A good call there by the official. Aaron Todd, who was shaken up a moment ago, now back in. Gets the friendly roll. Holloway. Off the iron. Everybody. Four fouls in this game. Still 8:45. Actually, that Amori has, and also in the pick and roll, he's had a lot of high percentage shots. Rudel out. Mark Sears. Monte the line. The front end is good. Sherell with the offensive rebound. Tried to get a seven. Pinion. Rhythm three. That's a big shot. Pinion needs to go. LeBaron fights inside. Phylon cannot connect. And here comes.
Todd long range. Well off the mark, but right there is Marshall. Two point contest. Johnny and counter attack. Pinion makes it a tie game. Wow. Reitzel. Doesn't get it up. How about Mo? have not led since the early going when it was four to three. Alabama has been in control leading for 31 minutes of this game. And Johnson. Shot clock winding down. Here is Ford against Nelson. Out of control and they should have back. Trying to build on a two-point lead. Grant Nelson makes it full to the drive every possession if I'm the tie. Arkansas State goes in. Nice speed from Nelson to Sears. Won't go and a foul. On Pinion, Sears goes two for two at the line. Here's some defense from Diabate. Sears draws another side. You got to make sure you drive in, get fouled, get to the free throw line, and be efficient from the line. Terran Todd denied by Reed. Marshall fighting in. Couldn't get it. Saves him. This is just the type of game it's going to be. Run it. Darian Reed, the spin, the score, the freshman. Julian three. Won't go. There's Sears. Flipped over to the tie. Latrell Reitzel Jr. makes two minutes as Alabama's grown the lead to nine. Julian puts them back on the board. Great. Mark Sears, right to Reed! Against Nelson. Works it back to Pinion. Pinion lost control. Arion Reed had the last dunk. Works his way up, leaves that short. Finding Reed. Phylon, yes! Three. Todd with the three-pointer. Got it to go, that cuts it. 20 to go. Mark Sears. Four at the line. Knocks down the first. Two to two trip to... Reitzel lost his footing today. Lobs it, and there's Marshall. With Team comes, and you talk about Ryan Cochran coming up at 49 point performance. The interior play will be something for player of the year. And really, in an offensive style that's going to suit his game well in Jonesboro. In the line today, makes the first. Two for two to grow the lead back to nine. Nate Oates and Ryan Hodson, two great friends, longtime co-worker. Alabama, you see that your team has the ability to be with a tough game.